today? What are we doing today? What yes. are we doing? <coughs> Welcome to Fair Magic, a yep. TV show podcast YouTube uh, stream. Extravaganza. Filmed at a normal time by people who are here of their own free will. Yes. Uh, this is a show where we discuss magic cards that we made up and we decide whether or not they are fair. You're free to disagree, but if you disagree in a way that is stupid or offensive to me, I will make fun of you. Seems legit. Do we have any do we have any fair magic cards? Do we have a theme we wanted to do? I think probably guilds of Ravnica. Sure. Let's go with guilds. Probably the best. All right. Um So it's interesting actually. We were playing this game uh-huh. because then it was a game, but now it's real. It's a real thing. We were playing this game the other day and uh I literally said exactly the card, uh, fucking Thousand Year Storm. Oh, yeah, you said spells have Two storm. days before <laughs> it was spoiled, which was, to me, spooky. Fucking so, Master Damus over here. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I want to continue with that. I have too much power. About uh, What if it was, like, enchantments have spells have storm? Like, the next level. I'm sorry. Could could you repeat that just in case? Each I didn't enchantment hear you? you control gains the rules text of thousand for, year storm. Of thousand year storm. Oh sure, that doesn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, glad, glad like we're Dark Steel Forge, magic. but for thousand year storm. What do we? What do you think? Fair card. Uh, on a sliding scale, one to ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ten being most fair. Yeah, ten being um obscenely fair. Yeah. Ten being a ten being a one one for two. Vanilla creature. God, that is just awful. I'm gonna rank it a three. A three? That shit's crazy. You're saying I could do better. Oh, that shit's crazy. All right. Um, we had the is it one that I want now to exist, which is a blue red enchantment. Just one blue, one red creatures that enter the battlefield. The first creature that enters the battlefield each turn gets flying in haste. Call it launch pad. I like that. That sounds fair. Right. Sounds pretty cool. Scale one to ten. Number of fair. With ten being most fair, apparently. <laughs> With ten being trading post and one being, I don't know, soul ring. Trading post is the opposite of fair. <laughs> it does everything. <laughs> trading post card. is super fucking stupid. <laughs> All right, what's the fairest card in Magic? Grizzly bears. Grizzly bears? Yeah, that is I, super fair. I was going to say grizzly bears as well, but I feel like we can get even more fair than that. All right. Flying men. <laughs> Flying men is definitely very fair. Yeah. It's a fair card. 1-1 one, one has evasion for one. What about Stormcrow? Stormcrow is extremely fair. It's a 1-2. One, it's a 1-2 for three? One and a blue. One. Yeah. Oh, shit, it's broken. It also has flying. That it's shit's crazy. Broken. Yeah. All right, what do, you, what do you got for us, Tyson? What's a fair magic card? Hmm. Hmm. What if we had a green-black spell with some <laughs> amount of colorless in its cost? Uh, destroy target creature, and it's reduced. Its cost is reduced by the number of cards in your graveyard. All right, that's strong. That's pretty good. That is that that definitely a rare. Um, I think it's fair though, at the very least. And we got to put a cost on it to know if it's fair or not. <laughs> Green, black, and six. Oh, six fuck. sounds correct. Yeah, because early game that makes it uncastable. Yeah, but then late game is just a fucking monster. I was yeah. gonna say green, black, and three. That's broke. Destroy target. You creature? could literally cast that on turn two, for two mana. Easily. That's fine. Thought fair. scour that. All right. Fetch. I mean. <laughs> Do anything else. Turn one. That's a three turn mana two. Spell. Yeah. Spell. Then it's Ash Trophy, but not as good. I mean, Ash Trophy's real good. <laughs> All right. You ever made an Ash Trophy? No. All right. Um, oh, fuck. I want I want Gruel to be a guild already. Yeah, okay. Um. So now we're doing uh, keywords for new guilds. Oh, are we? Okay. So, yeah. All right, I brought this one up earlier. I'm going to bring it up again. Okay. I like the name for it that you had, Pillage. Yeah. It's a keyword. It's like Pillage X, right? Okay. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, 
you gain that much mana in any combination of colors. But it doesn't empty. I mean, it does empty as soon as combat is over. Yep. Uh, you know what it should be? If this creature attacks and isn't blocked, yeah. that's when the trigger happens. Yeah, then that's can... nice. Because then you can finagle before damage. And this card is green-red that you're yeah. attempting yep. to create? Yeah. Cool. That means it's not Yuriko. <laughs> yes. Very nice. I like it. Yep. What's Yuriko? Y- Yuriko is the, uh, the, the ninja, ninja commander. Never heard of it. Really? No. Very. Oh, right. We're playing fair magic, not real <laughs> yeah, magic. No, that's not. Yuriko yeah. is not a real card. Yeah. <laughs> Get that out of here. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Uh, get mana and cast crazy nonsense. Yeah. Give him a bunch of flash creatures, call it good. You know, speaking of fair magic, I think if we wanted to make Mystic Remora a fair card and also in theme with actual things. Oh, we're going to take busted cards and make them fair now? Uh, it's fair magic, so. Yeah. Okay. Sure. sure. Why sure. not? Yeah. My uh, usual way of doing that is adding a six damage trigger to most spells. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right <there! laughs> What I think Mystic Remora should have been is a black-white Orzhov enchantment. Mm. Just one black, one white. Does the same thing. Still has some form of upkeep cost that is not unreasonable to keep up with, but you can't just keep it on the field. We'll do it, Eric Andre. What if it was in standard? <laughs> what if uh, cumulative upkeep with busted effects was Orzhov's thing in standard? That would be very flavorful. It oh. would be. Yeah. Catholic Church and such. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'd do it. Cumulative upkeep, bringing it back. Uh huh. That would be very nice. All right. So, what are we doing for Rakdos? Like, what's their thing? Ra- oh, God. I think Rakdos should get an extra turn spell. Oh. Yeah. Mardu extra turns in modern? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, I would play that deck. You would. You would buy that modern deck. Is Lich's Mastery still in standard? Yes. Yes! <laughs> sure is. <laughs> the dream! <coughs> yeah. Um, God for... Mm. I feel like Rakdos should also get a card that actually says destroy target player. Yeah. That should be a real card. Yeah. What if uh, Rakdos' keywords was just extra turns? Like the Rakdos theme was extra turns this time around. I can meet you halfway at extra combats, <laughs> but not extra turns. No, we're not doing That'd extra turns. That'd be insanity. Okay. Yeah. It's madness. I think we should get Judgment of Rakdos. Which does? Seven mana, two black, two red, destroy target player. All right. This is the sorcery of the kills that ends the game? Yes. For seven mana? No, 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 that's 11 mana. Okay. That's I mean, much harder to do. You that's definitely fair. can't just play it in a Grixis deck in EDH and play Omniscience. <laughs> just instantly win. As if you're not doing that with Omniscience already. That's fair. It's true. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, let's see. All right. The one that I can't come up with is fucking Simic. What, what, are they, what do they do? Yeah, what are they do good you, at? Where do you go from there? Allow me to educate you folks. Okay. Can we go back to plus one, plus one counters? Because that's all I want. That no. was fun. <laughs> what Simic needs is a birthing pod style keyword. Something I think Simic should get creatures that when they die, they go and find another creature, but of a lesser converted mana cost and put it into the play. The keyword is metastasize. Yes. Can I get a dictionary, please? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, again, meet you halfway here. Make them all Reef Worm style effects. When they die, they turn into a bigger token. Because that way you can't do busted shenanigans, and you can actually print it on like a common. Mm, sure, sure. But what if? Uh huh. What if instead? I'm. Rawr, bearing with you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yep. Doing a good job. Yep. Bearing. Yep. Uh, what if instead? Simic. Did exactly what I just said. <laughs> okay, but what you're not but understanding is if? that that's not fair magic. No, no, no. <laughs> we didn't no. Do that. Sure. Let, let's think about this. Let's say every creature card in magic has that. Grizzly bears, when it dies, go find experiment one. That's fair. That's not fair. That's the that's opposite of what you said. 
<laughs> cool. I'm going to take five while you guys keep talking. Okay. <laughs> I need to get into this fair what mood. What if it was like um what if it was like Pokemon where when the creature died, it tutored another named creature that you had to have in your deck? That's extremely fair. What if Simic actually got real evolve? What if they were creatures that if this creature is on the battlefield and this creature is on the battlefield, they flip just like with Meld back in Eldritch Evolution, uh, if, Eldritch Moon? What if they brought back Augment from Unstable, but like for real? I th- for Simic? I honestly think that should have been a real thing. <laughs> that would have been really cool. Just saying. <laughs> that would have been dope. Well, there's still time. There is. I don't think so. <laughs> no? You don't think so? I don't think so. You don't so. think they're rushing to the printer with that one? We could ask them. We could. We would definitely get a response. I'm going to at Mark Rosewater. If you're watching this at Mark Rosewater, you're not watching this, but if you are, do it. Yeah. That would be pretty tight, though. Mm. I think Azorius should stop getting counter spells. Ooh. I think Azorius isn't about actually countering so much as it is just stopping things. And the flavor of it is lost to me specifically mainly for the fact that when you go they're supposed to be the judges for the most part Mm -hmm. boros are the police but when you go to the judge he himself is not the one that stopped you he's just giving you a verdict on it spring verdict Uh, (laughs) verdict most high well they are the cops though like boros is basically the army uh, Boros is like the militarized army, yeah. police. Re- okay, all right, you got there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it took me a minute. It's definitely a real time <laughs> right now. It's a normal time when people record shows. Yes, yes, it is that. It's not like a crazy time. Nope. No. That would be crazy. No, we're not doing that. Oh man. Okay, so what is what is the uh, Azorius keyword? I feel like. I can't think of a name for a keyword for them. What if it was Fate Seal? That would be terrifying. Because <laughs> that, like that, that's a permission-based mechanic, right? You're looking at your opponent's deck, and you're like, nah. What if it was Surveil your fucking opponent? Sure. I can, I can see that. But what I had in mind specifically was, what if Azorius got a thing that punished people for doing certain things? What if, let's say, to make it as fair as possible for now, it is a 2-2 two, two for 3. Okay. Uh, has whatever keyword it is for Azorius. And in that keyword, it states, if your opponent plays a creature, uh, do X thing. Or your opponent cannot do X thing for the remainder of that turn. What if we brought back Detain? That was a shitty mechanic. You didn't like Detain? I did not like Detain. Detain was pretty weird to keep up with, to be honest. Yeah. Did you just not like getting Detain, or did you just not like it as a mechanic? So basically, as I see it, it's... Well, I mean, A, there is the problem of, is this thing detained? I can't tell. Did that happen last turn? I forget. Well, what you do to keep track of detain in your games is each creature that's detained, you put an actual set of like full size handcuffs on it. And that way you know. I will do that. That it's detained. Yeah. Okay. Um, I. Do we get those handcuffs in like booster boxes? You don't have <laughs> the booster box promo for uh, the next set is going to be handcuffs. Yeah. I feel like we get a lot of new customers. A lot of different customers? Very different. Not that different. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Was the, the Venn diagram is a circle. Yep. It's just... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we, do we miss any guilds or are we good? Fuck. Um, I think Zorius, we Zorius, Rakdos, Simic. Simic. I Orzov. really want Simic. Orzov. Okay, so here's how you make the Simic mechanic work. Every creature they have, when it dies, it searches for another specific named creature. And the number of Simic cards, there are more of them, but there are only five different cards. Like, every Simic common is the same fucking card. And it's a decent card. Explain to me what you mean. I know what you mean, and that would be so (laughs) terrible for draft. (laughs) I don't think you understand. (laughs) You open a pack, there are three Simic cards, they're all the same. 
so what you're trying it's to tell me uncommon, is common and it's the same uncommon. So like for instance, very cryptic command in all its iterations. Kind of like that, except for you would have multiples in the same pack. Like you could have two Simic uncommons. There's only one Simic uncommon. There's only one Simic common and one rare. And each one, when it dies, tutors for the next one up. Shadowborn Apostles, the Simic <laughs> yeah. generation. Yeah. yeah. Shadowborn yeah. Apostles in sealed. And there's yeah. enough of them to make it a deck. Because in every pack, there's going to be at least <laughs> one of the three Simic <laughs> cards. <laughs> Let's go back to fair magic. <laughs> I'm feeling fair now. We got, we got sidetracked into my other podcast, Fun Magic. Yeah, uh, yeah, none of that. <laughs> this is not about fun. This is about fair and balanced magic. Fair and balanced magic. Yep. Okay, so Rakdos gets turbo turns. Uh, is that where we landed on that? All right. <laughs> we didn't come up with anything else. That's fair. Grohl gets pillage, yep. which is a legit mechanic. Yep. Zorius gets uh, permission-based things. Simic uh, breaks the format and ruins magic. Yeah. And uh, Orzov. And modern and legacy. And <laughs> yes. The, hopes the and whole dreams game. Of everyone who ever wanted to play any eternal format. Where did ever. we land on Orzov? Uh, Orzov has taxing effects. Similar yeah. to yeah. Uh, Azorius's permission this effects. This sounds like a very fair and balanced draft format. So, but literally what we've described is what four of the guilds do. <laughs> like conceptually, and then one keyword. We nailed the girl keyword, though. We did. I Let's be honest. That that one's really strong. That's gonna carry us. Let's also be honest, though. We only came up with one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we nailed it. Hmm. All right, okay. I will go with that. And that is fair magic. Yep.